Now a few days ago, Apple just announced their new lineup of iPhones. And this year, it is iPhone 14s. They have the iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Plus, iPhone 14 Pro, and the Pro Max. Now, I consider myself a practical consumer as I do not upgrade my phone every single year. I really only upgrade when I find some new features that I really like, something groundbreaking, or if my phone is totally messed up. But this year, my chair is so creaky, but this year, I bit the bullet. Or should I say, I took the pill. Get it? <laughs> More on that later. So these are my reasons why I am upgrading on the new iPhone 14 Pro. Let's talk about it. Hi guys, my name is Ace and welcome to my channel Asiatic TV where I do product reviews, music, travel videos, and many more. And if you like the sound of that, please don't forget to subscribe. So I just ordered the new iPhone 14 Pro. Granted, it's not here yet. It's still not stopping me making videos about why or my reasons on why I am upgrading. So bear in mind, I'm still using an iPhone 12. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm still using an iPhone 12. It's my trusty phone. It's been with me for a few years. Like I said, I do not upgrade a lot. And before this, I was using an iPhone 8. And this is really great. I have no problem with it. Well, really my main problems are the battery life and it overheats a lot when I use it. But apart from that, things are great. Well, great-ish. Overall, I'm still happy with my iPhone 12, but there are few new features on the iPhone 14 Pro that really caught my eye. So probably the biggest reason that's why I want to upgrade to the iPhone Pro, bro, <laughs> is the camera upgrades. But you have to listen up because there are some caveats in this upgrade. So the back ones, there's still three of them in the iPhone 14 Pro, where the iPhone 14, the normal one, and the plus one, I think they only have two cameras at the back. So on the iPhone 14 Pro, you have the free, the main one, the wide one, and the telephoto one. So the telephoto one is not upgraded, but the main one is upgraded to 48 mega pixel i'm like whoa really 48 megapixel wow but like i said there's a caveat on that so you better listen up and also the wide angle camera is now 13 millimeters so it's really wide it's good for landscape photography nature photography anything if you want to take pictures of tall building you probably can fit it on that focal length depends on how you shoot by the way the main camera have 24 millimeter focal length which is what you're seeing now uh, my lens on my sony cve 10 is 24 mm so you can imagine how wide it is also the camera sensor is now bigger too it's 65 percent bigger than last year's phone which means it captures and gathers more light hence it's good for low light photography so with that bigger sensor it can also now handle 48 megapixels however those 48 megapixels are quad pixels so they use a technology called pixel binning so bear in mind if you want to utilize the whole 48 megapixel you have to shoot in pro raw so 48 megapixel sounds a lot but it really isn't because the output will still be 12 megapixel but the thing about it is like i said with the pixel binning and with the new photonic engine it's their imaging software that's what they're calling it so hopefully in together with those combination it will produce better image hopefully this still remains to be seen obviously we still have to test and look at it but hopefully like i said with the 65 percent bigger sensor it will help capture good photos in low light 
so with the Apple Keynote, it's actually a little bit deceiving if you don't know the terminologies of what they're saying. You think, wow, 48 megapixels, you know, that's a lot. Even like DSLRs, like expensive DSLRs, sometimes they don't even have those megapixel. My Sony CEV10, I mean, it's not a pro camera, this one is a beginner's camera, but this one is only 27 or 24 megapixels and it shoot great, you know? Next up is the front facing camera. So the front facing camera is also had an upgrade, which is now a 1.9 aperture, which gives you that nice blurry image or bokeh. I don't really use it a lot. I use it with my daughter when we go for hiking and going somewhere, we take a selfie together. But generally me, I don't really uh, use selfie. Look at me, why would I? Take a photo of my face, man. Autofocus, the iPhone 14 Pro is now has autofocus. Does that mean like the iPhone 13 and 12 and before didn't have autofocus, which is a bit confusing, but nonetheless, we now have autofocus. Another feature that I'm really excited as well is the cinematic mode, which is I never had on iPhone 12 Pro. So if you're coming from an iPhone 13 Pro, that's probably not new to you guys. So you probably don't mind upgrading this year because this feature is already in your phone. But with iPhone 12 Pro, we didn't have it. So this one is definitely an upgrade and I can't wait to try it. This cinematic mode also shoots in 24K for that really cinematic look with that natural motion blur and it shoots 30 frames per second as well on 4K so which is good because typically the 30 frames per second that's what I normally shoot on my videos um, this is not cinematic look it's more of a television kind of look like those series mostly they shoot it in 30 frames per second yeah so I'm really excited about that too and if you like shooting videos like me this next feature of the upgrade is definitely worth it at least for me this is the action mode look i just bought a gimbal a few days ago i actually have two gimbals and i have gopro which is great in stabilization and this action mode imagine it's on the iphone 14 pro so when you're doing a vlog or just walking or running taking a video sometimes i take videos of my dog when they were within the park and I run with them with my daughter so this is a great addition for me I, I want to test it out because you know like I said GoPro and those gimbals are really good in stabilizing your footage and really good for cinematic kind of shots as well so imagine having that on an iPhone it's another level this is definitely an upgrade if you are coming from an iPhone 12 Pro like me Another good reason that's why I am upgrading on the iPhone 14 Pro is the up to 2000 nits of brightness. So this is good, especially outdoors. You know, if you watch my channel, I do a lot of hiking, traveling, and I like sunny weathers. And sometimes, even when I'm driving, sometimes when the sun hits, when I'm trying to look for my navigation, and then I, I not typically use my phone for navigation and then sometimes the sun hits it and I couldn't really see where I'm going so hopefully that will help I would like to test that out to see if it's useful for that as well the iPhone 14 Pro also has a a16 bionic chip which is a bigger processor than my iPhone 12 Pro that has the A14, the iPhone 13 have the A15 chip, and the iPhone 14 normal one and the 14 Plus still have the A15 Bionic chip. So this is definitely an upgrade. This is one of the first phones that has this chip. So hopefully we have a better processor you know how processors are they they change every time they get faster and faster so hopefully this will be faster than my old 12 pro the only thing about fast processors and all that is obviously it might overheat so we have to check that out and see and with my 
iPhone 12 Pro this is always one of the problems that I have yeah I forgot to tell you when it comes to overheating this is actually notorious sometimes it just heats up for no reason even sometimes if it's just in my pocket I don't know why my iPhone probably knows that I'm single so it's trying to warm me up I don't know but yo bro you know we're homies man so other features that I found interesting in this new upgrade is the always on display I mean a lot of phones like Google because my sister have a Google and they also already have those always on display and now <laughs> like Apple is just joining the party but always on display I like it because typically with my iPhone 12 or any iPhones for that reason it's like when I'm driving sometimes and I put my phone in front of me I like to see if there's someone message me or something like that I want to see the notification but sometimes when you miss the notification it dims up straight away and you sort of have to tap it while you're driving which is really not convenient and sometimes it could be unsafe so that always on display will probably be a helpful future but I know <laughs> for my players out there for my players out there this probably might not be a good feature because you know you have your hotties trying to like look if someone texted you but if you're loyal you'll be you'll be good so you will like this feature other things that i was interested about in this upgrade is the all day battery i mean with my iphone 12 for the first year until a, a year and a half it's really good i can actually use this the whole day without charging but now i find it it easily drains the battery hopefully this all day battery on the iphone 14 pro will solve that hopefully and if you want to buy a charger i recommend the anchor brick socket i have a link on my description down below so check that out and the other things that I really like on this new upgrade is the crash detection and the satellite connectivity. These are both safety features and hopefully we do not have to use them. But it's a welcome addition especially if worse comes to worse. Um, granted with the satellite you after two years you have to pay for it. And it's only available in America and Canada so far so people from the UK you're on your own mate. Get me. And the last thing that I'm really looking forward to on this update is the pill. So I was making a joke about the pill a while ago. This is what they call the dynamic island. So basically it's the notch on the top of your phone that is sometimes annoying when you're watching something because it's a little bit distracting. But now that cutout is in a sort of a pill shape. That's why it's a pill and they call it the dynamic island because it moves about and makes different shapes it depends on what um, apps are you using so basically they're in the background and you can able to see what's going on so it's kind of like an, a notification for example if you're in your timer your watch if you have your airpods on it will tell you with little graphics which is fun because they utilize that space which is actually a dead space unless you're using your camera and yeah so it's a nice addition and i'm looking forward to use that this is fun um way quirky way you know plus also there's the new one where you can customize your um front screen apparently you can also um, change the fonts i mean google and other phones uh, like android have been doing this for years so this is nothing new but it's a welcome addition on the ios and the iphone phones so those are the features that i'm really excited about hopefully when i get my new phone i can test those out and see if they are really upgrades especially with the cameras and all that so those are my reasons on why i'm upgrading on the iphone 14 pro and not the iphone 14s iphone 14 pro i think has a lot of features it has a lot to give especially when you're coming from an iphone 12 like me so those are the ones i'm looking forward to and i'm really excited when my phone comes how about you guys 
what did you think of those features are you excited are those features also the reason on why you're getting your new iphone 14 or are you not even bothered about it you are you not even getting an upgrade let me know on the comment section down below and i see you on the next video peace